guys, this is Tim with Mid-South Morphs. Uh, I just wanted to do a video today, kind of a morph spotlight on the spider gene and what combos that I have. Um, I only have five with the spider gene in my collection, um, but they're mostly geared toward um, some really nice projects, I think. Um, you may remember this boy from a previous video. This is the uh, Leopard Bee 100% Head Exanthic. And you got some big plans for this boy. Um, some of the Spider Exanthic combos are really nice, especially uh, ones like the, uh, the Fire Bee Exanthic. That's definitely one of my favorites. <clears throat> it has that like stark uh, black and white coloration or lack thereof. Definitely really nice boy. Good uh, appetite also, as you can see. Alrighty, moving on. And next up is my queen bee. Uh, she's 66% possible head clown. Uh, in the future, she'll be going to a pastel clown male. these little smudges here this is what's left over from the repta chip I was using uh, swapped uh, sandy chips this girl I really like her colors um, she's changed a little bit since I've got her color wise um, she's getting more of the yellows that are coming in right in here um, when I got her these little like the whites you see right there, that was all throughout where the yellows are now. So she had some really nice contrast. Um, definitely gonna work this girl into, like I said, the pastel clown and hopefully we can prove her out and uh, make some queen bee clowns and uh, some killer queen bee clowns, hopefully. But if not, everything that comes out of that will be 100% hit. This is my big girl. She has a Butterbee Het Desert Ghost. And she's been paired to the Pastel Caramel Desert Ghost uh, three times and had three locks. So hopefully she'll give us a really nice clutch this year. Which she was off feed and then once she started pairing, uh, she went back on feed. And she's been pounding food since. Hopefully that's a good sign that she's building follicles. Really love her colors. She's got a bit of an attitude, so I'm not going to get too close to her right now. Butterbee, Het Desert Ghost. This is one of my favorite boys. Uh, forgive the sandy chips in the water, that's from feeding yesterday. It caused quite the commotion. Um, let me see if I can move him so we can get a better look at him. Yeah, here he comes. You can see his little mustache there. Uh, got a couple girls for him, a um, couple paws heads I hope to prove out. Uh, one is a Pastel Lesser, 66% possible head, and the other is a Lemon Blast, 66% possible head. So hopefully they'll prove out and we can get some really nice stuff, like more Queen Bee Clowns and uh, hopefully some Spinner Blast Clowns. That's best case scenario, but I'll take anything clown and hopefully they prove out. But again, if they don't, you know, it's all the offspring will be 100% het because he is clown. All right, last but not least, definitely one of my favorite snakes that I have. Um, this boy is an orange dream 
Inchy Fire Spider. And he is going to anchor all of my Orange Dream projects. I'm sure you saw in recent videos a um, couple females that I picked up for him. The uh, Orange Dream Inchy Burst and the Super Inchy Lemon Blast. Really like the banding of the pattern, as you can see, as it gets, you know, about halfway down the body. And then, like all Orange Dream combos, the pattern just kind of starts to dissipate as it gets closer to the tail. Really love that head stamp. It's like an old school slingshot. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Just wanted to show um, my spider combos and how awesome this gene can be. But uh, if you like the video, just give it a like, uh, a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to comment and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to get a collection video up probably Wednesday. I've been slacking a little bit on videos. Um, next week I will have a uh, clutch cutting video coming. But uh, yeah, keep on the lookout for that. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.